All right, what's going on guys? It's your friendly neighborhood fat ass here, and I am on some Supercross 2 for today. Um, also, I want to clarify, I'm not strictly a motocross channel. <laughs> I promise. I do have a Siege video planned for the next uh, week, next couple of weeks or so. Uh, all I need to do is get some more content for it, uh, because right now I don't have enough content to actually make it a uh, video that I will be happy with. But anyway, also, I want to clarify, I know what you're going to say, okay? I know what you're going to say, and knock that shit off. All right, I don't need that negativity in my life, okay? Just because I'm on a Kawasaki does not mean that I am an Eli Tomac fan, okay? So you can just take your little fucking assumptions and drop it, okay? I'm not an Eli Tomac fan because I'm on a Kawasaki. Y'all can suck my dick, all right? Watch your profanity. I am, however, an Adam C. and Cerullo fan. But anyway, all right. <laughs> jokes aside, jokes aside. Uh, Milestone came out with, and Milestone, if you guys don't know, is the um, development company who makes the Monster Energy Supercross and MXGP, uh, MotoGP, and I think they make, like, the Dirt Rally game? I'm not sure. Uh, I know that they make the World Rally Championship, uh, MXGP, MotoGP, Monster Energy Supercross. They make all sorts of games. Um, but the Milestone team in charge of, like, the motocross games has come out with an announcement as of yesterday. I know I'm a little late to the party. My apologies. Um, I also apologize if this video is not all that great quality. Um, I, uh, the last video I recorded of M MXGP 2019, the uh, I was using my Streamlabs OBS to record that because the video I did prior to that, I was still using my Shadow Play and I noticed a noticeable difference, but now, uh, as of late, for some weird reason, my Streamlabs decided to say, nah, fuck your couch, and won't do shit, so that's lovely. So, yeah, if this video is a uh, subpar quality, uh, my apologies, I'm still trying to work out the kinks, figure out a good, solid, consistent recording method. Um, the editing method is the same as always, but the recording method is kind of my biggest issue at the moment, and I am trying to fix that. So if the video quality is not all that great, I apologize. But So Milestone came out with the announcement that Monster Energy Supercross 3, or if you want to abbreviate, abbreviate it, MESX3, is their next uh, title that is going to be coming out with the tagline uh, Be One of Us, I believe it is, or Become One of Us, one of the two. I don't exactly have the picture right next to me. Um, they did come out with a trailer for it as well in which Cooper Webb's acting performance was absolutely astounding. It was impeccable. I don't think really, I, he deserves an Oscar. I don't believe that Leonardo DiCaprio could have done that any better. Um, yeah, it was, it was just insane. If he somehow got a career-ending injury and couldn't ride dirt bikes anymore, I think acting would be his second passion. I'm very optimistic about our team and really excited for my new teammate, Brian. No, that's all. That is, that is obviously a joke. Uh, he, you could tell he wasn't exactly enthused in the trailer. His acting was definitely not... Uh, not, not top tier. It was definitely not some S tier acting quality, I will say that. But the trailer did come out. MESX3 has been uh, confirmed, and I believe the release date, if I'm not mistaken, was February 4th, 2020. So that gives us about roughly four-ish months until it comes out. So until then, I am going to be playing a lot of uh, MESX2, which is the game that I'm playing right now. Um, to try and get used to how the games work and how the games feel because both of the Supercross games prior to the one that will be coming out uh, in February, I haven't exactly been all that great at. As you guys have probably seen so far, my rhythms are absolute garbage and I, I just want, I want to work on those and because I am a part of a competitive online racing community known as the DMR series or the Dead Meat Racing series. Uh, they do racing series on the uh, Supercross games and the MXGP 2019 games. I don't think they do MotoGP. I think it's just dirt bikes. I think it's just the MXGP and MESX games. But um, So, yeah, I'm a part of that, and I know that when MESX 3 comes out, they're going to, uh, shortly after it comes out, they're going to start talking about and developing 
the rules for their next season, which is going to be on that game because they always do their seasons on the uh, most recent game. And I have never really had good rhythm in these Supercross games, so I am trying to practice. I'm also the owner of uh, my own team in that series, so I, I want to actually be able to you know represent my team fairly well. It's, it's not nothing too serious. I just do it for fun. I think it's a good pastime, especially because... Um, I'm too broke to actually go racing, so it's a good way to, you know, get my fix for for the for the moment until, you know, I start making good enough money to where I can actually race again. But I've never had good rhythm in the Supercross games because I mostly IRL ride like I do trail rides and I do, um, you know, hair scrambles and single track, enduro cross. I do mo mostly like off road type stuff. I don't really do, I've never ridden on a legitimate motocross or supercross style track. Uh, I don't know my way around them very well. And supercross is definitely the more technical of the two in my opinion. I could be wrong if I am. Go ahead and correct me in the comments. Uh, I, if I'm wrong, I will admit it. But I believe that supercross is definitely the more technical of the two. And since I have no experience on either of the tracks, the MXGP games definitely cater to my uh, virtual riding ability better because it's literally just like pin it to win it and who's fastest in the corners and all that stuff. There's really no technical aspect of the rhythm involved and Supercross, you know, I could be in the wrong gear or I could have too much throttle, not enough throttle, I could have hit the brakes too hard, hit the, not hit the brakes hard enough, you know, leaned the wrong way at the wrong time, that kind of stuff. So. There's a lot more nuances to the Supercross games, in my opinion, and I've never really... I've, I don't have the, the personal experience to actually know what those nuances are and how to execute them properly. So I just basically... Um, I, I, I know nothing. I'm like a... I'm, like a, I'm definitely a newbie when it comes to these style of games. Uh, Supercross tracks on any type of motocross game have always thrown me off a bit. So, actually, we can just go back to the pit since I have the fastest lap time. So, yeah, I'm going to be practicing on this uh, for a while until uh, the next MXG or EM English escapes me. I'm she she. I oh, oh, I, 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 she she. Bu, 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 bu. Oh, now you can't speak English. Uh, English is hard. Anyway, uh, until the next MESX comes out, I'm going to be playing this to try and get used to, you know, how the bikes feel. Because I'm sure it's not going to be, MESX3 isn't going to be all of that different from this one. There might be slight, you know, physics changes and um, obviously cosmetics. I think, if I remember right, they brought back the same thing that they brought back in uh, MXGP 2019 of being able to sign on to the official teams, which is nice. And... Yeah, so obviously, the, you know, other than the minor changes, which is mostly like cosmetic stuff and, you know, that sort of thing, there might be, uh, it's, it's going to be relatively the same sort of game. Uh, bikes will probably feel a little bit different, but, you know, the, the, the act of, you know, being able to find your rhythm is still going to be r roughly the same, you know, close at least. So I'm going to be practicing on this for a little while. Um... I also have a Twitch if you guys want to go follow me on there, but as I said, I'm probably not going to be able to stream uh, very much, if at all, until I figure out what's going on with my stream labs, or just redo all my stuff entirely and go with stream elements instead, which I have thought about. So if you guys have any uh, ideas of, you know, how, my, uh, how to fix my stream labs or anything, uh, join my Discord server, it'll be down below in the description, and go ahead and message me on there. I would love any feedback that you guys have, any any help that you are willing to offer. But yeah, so MESX3 is confirmed. Be one of us, February, I think it's 4th, 2020. And yeah, so if you guys want to see more motocross content, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. If you want to see some other content, which like I said, I, I do have a siege video planned for the, the fairly near, near future. Um, so leave a comment what you guys would like to see in the next video. Uh, like the video. If you actually did like the content, be sure to hit the subscribe button on the bottom right and turn on the post notice so you guys get notified every time that I upload a video, which is as frequently as I can. And 
that's about all I had to say. So I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, nerds.